Hi there. My name is Kenzie. I'm here to offer you a Hatha yoga practice today. So I didn't provide many props. A blanket could be useful under your knees when we get there. A chair nearby for more support. As you can tell, it's a beautiful day here in the Everyday Counts program room, and I'm so glad you're here to join me. Ah, so let's begin. So I encourage you to find a comfortable way of being. That might be lying down, it might be sitting comfortably upright. I'm kneeling on a couple of blocks. You could also be sitting on the edge of a chair, on a cushion, or a folded blanket. Or again, lying down. And so take a few moments to get comfortable. And then perhaps close your eyes. Perhaps begin to breathe through your nose. Perhaps bring your hands to your belly if that is helpful in any way to tune into the breath. We'll allow ourselves a few moments to simply arrive, to let go of whatever has brought you to this place in time, whatever might be happening after you practice yoga with me today. Instead, we'll begin to tune into the pull of gravity that's helping us to rest here fully supported, feeling the support of the floor beneath you. Feeling the gift of gravity, this quality of stillness and connection wherever your body touches down. And from this place, we can begin to soften the belly to receive the in-breath, soft and deep, feel the belly expand. That easy release of the out-breath without effort, the belly naturally draws in. A soft, deep in-breath, expanding the belly, maybe the waist, maybe the low back. And soft, slow out-breath, feeling that inward movement. You could even imagine kind of a three-dimensional expansion, waist and belly and back. And then that three-dimensional inward movement as you exhale slowly. And feeling your awareness spiraling inward, getting closer and closer to the simplicity of the breath, expanding your body with the in-breath and drawing your body back in with the out-breath. And we're simply softening to allow that movement, allowing rather than controlling or forcing, can we invite and allow this breath, this awareness for five or six more breaths, soft and deep, soft and slow. So here we are now. And if it suits you, perhaps bring a hand to rest to the belly, a hand to rest to the chest. And offer yourself some sweetness here, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation, just for you. open to receiving this sweetness. And then releasing your hands, opening your eyes. So we are going to begin our practice standing up and then we'll slowly make our way down. So again, there could be a chair nearby even to help you get to standing. Um, there could be a wall nearby just as an extra support. Take your time making your way to that standing position. 
And that's where we will meet. Yeah. So I always like to start by saying, you know, notice that your feet are comfortably beneath you. So there's not a certain width they have to be or closeness. But sometimes I walk my feet a few times just to notice do I feel like they are supporting me from the ground up. And then maybe invite a little buoyancy to the knees. So they're not locked tight. There's the softness. And again, if it helps to have a chair or the wall, you can use them. Um, and then we're just going to check in with the hips to see that they're kind of even. Yeah, and there's a little movement here. And maybe just release the tops of the shoulders. Give your fingers and hands a little shake or a wiggle. Yeah, we can connect to the breath here. Maybe the next inhale helps us get nice and tall. And the out breath lets the shoulders soften away from the ears. We'll try a couple more. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, let them go of whatever you need to. Okay, so we're going to start to bring our arms down into our feet to start. So we've got a really mobile, aware base. Um, so it could be that we just lift one heel and then the other. Just a little bit of kind of walking on the spot without lifting the feet. Yeah. And this is where if we need a little hand here, we can take it. And then you're going to notice I'm going to keep one heel lifted, one knee bent. I'm going to begin to circle around the ball of the foot. So I'm keeping the kind of the base of the foot on the mat. Got that nice spot across the base of the toes. I'm circling around it. You can change direction. And you'll notice, you know, your calf is starting to engage a bit. Your ankle is starting to say hello, as well as your toes, as well as your foot. Now this is an interesting move. We're going to tuck the toe behind and come onto the tops of the toes. So this is where, yeah, hand on the wall on a chair is great. And rock from baby toe to big toe. So on the tops of the toes, this can be kind of a juicy stretch. So checking in here. Let's find the sweet spot where the foot is really stretchy. Take a breath. And let it out. Bring the foot back down. So take a moment here, walk your feet, maybe find that mountain again where we inhale, stand tall, exhale, release the shoulders, a couple more. Already maybe feeling a little bit more into that first foot that we moved. It has a little more to say, you can feel it connected to the ground. And now we'll try the other foot. So I'm lifting onto the ball of that foot, bending that knee, circling around the ankle. Got my hand for support on something. Yeah. And changing the direction of the circle. I don't know if the mic is picking up all those cricks and cracks. It's totally normal to get that as you mobilize the foot and ankle. So we're gonna rock onto the tops of the toes. It's like I'm tucking my foot behind me slightly, tucking my toes behind, rocking from baby toe to big toe. And this can be a pretty juicy stretch to the top of the foot. So going nice and slow here. Again, we're rocking from baby toe to big toe. And feeling into it. One more breath here. And let it go. Put your foot down. Again, you can walk the feet for a moment. Yeah. Maybe find your inhale, standing tall. Exhale, release those shoulders. So again, hands to the chair if we need to. Um, notice my feet here. I'm going to rock to the outer edges of my feet, lifting my inner edges. I'm going to rock onto the inner edges, lifting my outer edges. It might be hard to see, but I'm pressing out, lifting the inner edges, pressing down, lifting the outer edges. You might be able to see this in my knees as they kind of rock away and rock towards. This could be quite a strong movement as well. And this can kind of prevent falls and prevent sort of misstepping because we're starting to build some strength into these end ranges where we rock all of the weight onto one side of the ankle and foot and then the other. But it could feel a bit uncomfortable. We'll just do a couple more, knowing that you can always do more or less. You can stop whenever you want to. Take a break. Sit on a chair. Find your balance. Okay, we're going to let that go and walk the Soft belly breath here, soft shoulders. Again, we'll sit, stand tall and let go. Okay, now we'll come into some mobility for the knees. So as you see, I'm gonna walk my hands down my thighs, bend my knees somewhat, and then start to circle the knees. Again, we could have a hand to the wall here, a hand to a chair. 
We could be simply tracking the knees forward and back if the knees are uncomfortable moving to one side and then the other, or it could be the tiniest little shift. And again, we're preparing these knees for sometimes moving laterally, preparing the ankles. You're probably gonna feel this in the ankles. We're still circling the edges of the feet. Some of us might feel this in our tight calves. I'm gonna change the direction of the circle. You might even start to feel this up into the hips as your hips start to shift from side to side to kind of balance the body. So let's circle three more times in this opposite direction, noticing what we're feeling. Finding our breath here and then coming back upright. Again, we could walk the feet. We could find our mountain pose as we inhale, standing tall. Exhale, soft shoulders, one more. All right, let's bring our hands to our hips. And it might be nice to take the feet a little bit wider, depends on you. I'm gonna start to rock my hips from side to side. And then that's going to turn into a circle. I'm going to shift the hips back and around and forward and around. Uh, good old fashioned hip circles. And you'll notice you're still circling the knees. You're still circling the ankles, shifting the weight around the feet. Let's circle one more time in this direction and then change the direction. You'll notice I'm not encouraging you to close your eyes in most of these movements because being able to see really does help with your balance. So in standing poses, we keep our eyes open more often. But you know, if you've got your hand on a chair or you do wanna challenge your balance here, sometimes even closing your eyes just for a breath, moving extra slow, it's up to you. You can play a little bit. I'm gonna circle two more times. And again, I'm exaggerating the size of these hip circles so you can see them well, but you don't need to move this much. Just move as much as feels comfortable. It's going to be helpful no matter what. So let's come back to center. Again, we could walk the feet a little bit. We could again inhale, find our full height. Exhale, release those shoulders. So we're moving up. So we're going to play a little bit with some mobility through the shoulders. Again, we could be sitting on a chair. We could be holding on to the wall or a chair. We're going to shrug the shoulders up. And roll them back and together and down. Forward and together and up. Back and together and down. One more time. Forward, together and up. And let's change direction. Forward and together, down. Back and together up, forward and together, down, back and together up. Let's try one more, forward, together down, back and together up, Whew, and let them go. Yeah. Okay. We'll do a little bit more through the arms and hands and shoulders in a moment, but let's come to head and neck mobility, and this is where it's very helpful to keep your eyes open as we start to turn and shift through the head. So, the nice soft knees, we're not locked up here, but we do have support for balance if we need to. We're inhale, finding our fullest height. Let's float the right ear to the right shoulder, and that left arm can hang heavy. And then slowly back to center, other side. And slowly back, we'll do that a couple more times in either direction. The rest of the body is nice and soft. Feeling the stretch, we're coming back. Other side. Once more, uh, each direction. And we'll meet back at center. So that was that little bit of lateral flexion. Let's turn to look over the right shoulder. Slowly back. We'll turn to look over the left shoulder. Slowly back. 
couple more times in either direction. How slow and smooth can this movement be? We're feeling connected through the feet, soft through the knees, tall through the body. Once more, either direction. back to center. We're going to walk the feet. We want to keep everything really comfortable. Final bit here for the movements of the head and neck. So we found our full height. We'll drop the chin down to the chest. Back to center. Keep the back of the neck long as we gently lift the chin, lift the gaze, tilt the head slightly back. And forward and back a few more times. Soft knees, rooted feet. Soft shoulders. Back to center. Just give everything a little shake here. We'll do a little bit of twisting. Um, and so we're going to take the feet nice and wide. We're going to let the arms be nice and soft as we start to gently lift the opposite heel. Let that bend, knee bend as we twist and turn here. Just getting a little bit of blood flow, a little bit more movement through the body. My arms are so floppy, they're kind of gently kind of slapping me gently. We'll do this a few more times. How soft can we be here? Watch out for that chair if it's nearby. Watch out for the wall. So soft. Once more, either side, slowing it down. And let's find our mountain again so we can walk the feet and sit up tall. Soft shoulders on the exhale. Okay, so let's float the arms out and up. And if we don't, can't get them right overhead, we can bring them a little more in front. I know it's hard to see my hands, but you know they're there. We're gonna bring the hands together, press them together as we bring the hands in front of the chest. Hard to see here, but interlacing the fingers, press the palms forward as you straighten the arms in front of you, and then sweep the arms overhead, press, and slowly release. And you could do this on the edge of a chair if you're feeling like that's enough standing for now. Again, we can float the arms up, press the palms together, press them together as we bring them down, center of the chest. We're interlacing, pressing, reaching overhead, and releasing. Let's do two more. Float. Palm to palm, press to the chest. Interlace, there's the press forward. And up. All the way back down again. One more time here again. Walk the feet if you need to. Reach the arms up. Press. And interlace. Okay, let's shake that out. So we're going to begin to flow in and out of a few poses here. We're going to find our own way with it. We're going to play a little bit with balance. So again, we're kind of starting lower down on the body. Yeah. So I've got a hand to the wall whenever I need to. It could be a chair. Uh, so we're going to bring the knees forward, hips back. So a bit like when we circled the knees. You're going to notice that my torso is kind of following um, my pelvis. My pelvis is tilted forward as I sit back on this invisible chair. I've got my hands to my thighs for more support. So rather than rounding or arching, I'm going to find this middle place. Yeah, but I've just given it away a little bit because now I'm going to ask you to tuck your tailbone down and round a little bit. And then I'm going to invite you to Press your belly forward, draw your shoulder blades together and arch a little bit. So we're pressing into those hands. We could also be pressing into the back of a chair here as we round and as we arch. This could be the tiniest bit of movement. We'll do a few more. 
And this also helps us find that middle place between arching and rounding as we start to notice how this feels. This is a lot like cat-cow. And we're just doing it in a similar proportion. Great, once more in either direction. And then we're gonna stay in this place and maybe reach the arms out in front. Again, this could be on a chair or it could be out to the wall. We won't stay here for very long. We're just gonna sink a little lower, see if we can feel kind of our glutes, our seat kick in a little bit. Now we're gonna stand up, arms come out to the sides or reach for chair or wall. We're lifting both heels. Slowly lower the heels, knees track forward, hips track back. Again, hands could be on thighs here, or reaching out in front or for a chair. And then slowly lifting up, we lift our heels again. So we've turned this into a bit of a flow. Lower the heels, knees forward, hips back. This is our chair pose. Push into those feet as we find balance here, lifting the heels. We'll do a few more. Finding our way here. As we lift the heels, it might help for you to have a gaze point, an unmoving point in front of you to keep your eyes on. It's okay to wibble wobble here as we build strength. It will get easier. Let's do two more in either direction. I know we're getting warmer. We're feeling kind of the challenge of these movements. Supported by those soft breaths through the nose. Great. So we'll take a moment to rest here. And that could be similar to that first movement where we rested our hands on our thighs. Again, could be hands on the back of a chair. You could bring your forearms to your thighs. Kind of let your head hang a little bit here. That's gonna to start to stretch your back. Or depending on how you feel today, you could rest your belly on your thighs and let your head hang down. Keeping the knees somewhat bent. So those highest points are the sitting bones. We'll be here for three breaths, soft and deep. Soft and slow, letting your head go if you can but you're always welcome to keep it in line with the heart if you have high or low blood pressure. Two more breaths. And also coming to stand and we wanna get our hands back under our thighs. Sorry, on top of our thighs and come back up. Again, we're going to walk the feet here. I know this is a long time to stand, so we just have a couple more movements to explore. Um, so one more in this um, kind of parallel foot position, and that's to come into some side bending. So my arms are long at my sides. I could again use that inhale to get tall, that exhale to soften. Again, finding the fullest height, some soft shoulders. So I'm going to find my right hand and slowly let it glide down the outside of my right thigh, letting everything kind of slump to one side till I feel that stretch. And then try the other side. So nice, very fluid movement. And this can be a little bit of movement or a lot. And already you'll notice that feeling of stretch along one side and then maybe a little sense of engagement as the hand comes back to center, as the, sorry, as the body comes back to center. Is there that little bit of abdominal engagement that brings you back? Maybe delighting in that side bend stretch. Delighting and noticing that strength that brings you back once more either side. Okay, so we're going to do that, um, but we're going to add a little more an active arm and hand engagement. So it could be that you press your hands gently together here, 
Another option is to bring your hands overhead, maybe palms pressing, okay? So we did these options earlier in that flowing arm movement. It can be quite strong to have your arms overhead, but for some of us, that's where we wanna be. For some of us, we're gonna stay here, yeah. Okay, and again, we're gonna side bend, but it's less of a slumping movement. We've got that press of the hands, press of the feet. And then we'll slowly come back upright. So we're going to slow it down even more. We're going to come to the other side. And as you come to the other side, as you come to center, press the feet down. See if you can kind of translate that into a little more abdominal awareness. And it's okay if you can't. We're just playing with this as we slow it down. Press the hands together, press the feet into the mat. We'll do a few more to either side. It also might feel like you're trying to squeeze your thighs together a little bit as you come back to center. So kind of just play with how do we gather that strength to bring ourselves back. Okay. Ah, so we've done quite a bit of movement. We're going to do one more this time with a wider stance. So we haven't st stood widely in this practice yet. So you probably don't want to go as wide as usual or we may have warmed up more for it. But I'd say a little bit shorter than one leg of yours is long. Let's notice my front foot. The one I'm pointing to, I'm going to pivot on that heel and turn those toes to the back wall, find the other foot, I'm gonna scooch that heel back slightly so the hips aren't quite turned square. They're not at the front, they're kind of pointing on a diagonal. From here, depending on how you're feeling in the arms, they could stay on the hips or you could float the back arm behind you. Just notice it's kind of in line with the shoulder, front arm in front. This could also be a hand to the wall or a hand to the chair in front of you. So let's press down through that front foot, bend the front knee. Yeah, everything else stays upright. Notice shoulders are still over hips and straighten again. And press those hands down, those feet down into the floor. Yeah. Let's do three more. This is a stronger bit of movement. I'm reaching my fingertips away from me. Stay here, yeah, pushing down through the floor. Let's bring the back hand to the back thigh, a bit like that side slump. We're gonna turn the front palm up, walk the hand down the back thigh, find a little bit of side bend, even as we press that bent knee forward over second or third toe, we're reaching to the ceiling. And we'll slowly come back to that first position. We're gonna straighten the leg for a moment. We're gonna do this a few more times. We're gonna bend the knee. Bring the hand to the thigh, bring the other hand up, reaching. Breathing. And then slowly coming back. You could lower your arms here if you wanted to. We'll do that two more times. We're bending, we're reaching. Hand to the thigh, palm faces up. Reach to the sky. You could even straighten your leg in this position. Find your breath. And back to your pose. We're going to do one more. First, we'll straighten the leg, release the arms. Bend the knee, reach. Hand to the thigh, other palm faces the ceiling as we reach for the ceiling here. Follow with the gaze. Two breaths here. And slowly back to center. So we will take some restful breaths here. You can walk your hands down your thighs. You could even bring your feet closer. Remember, we could have forearms to thighs, keep our head in line with our heart, or we could hang the head forward, or even reach for the floor here. Let everything hang through your four more breaths. Wherever you need to be in this resting pose, hands to the back of the chair, 
We're back upright to our mountain pose. Couple more breaths. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. All right, walk your hands back up your thighs, and let's come upright. Uh, we are again going to take a wide-legged stance. Opposite foot, pivoting on the heel, toes point in that direction. I'm scooting the back heel back a little bit, like my foot's just turned out a bit. Uh, and sweep the back arm up in line with my shoulder, front arm in front. Instead, I could be reaching for a wall, reaching for a chair. Bend the front knee and straighten. You could gaze over those front fingertips if you wanted. This can be as little or as much movement as you choose. If you need to bring those feet closer, you are always welcome to. The next time the knee is bent, we're going to stay in here in this warrior pose. Pressing down into those feet, I feel some strength here. As I walk my hand down my back thigh, turn the front palm to face up. Let's reach it to the ceiling, follow with the gaze, walk the back hand down the back thigh if we wish to. Find our breath. And then slowly back. Uh, reach and press. Straighten the front leg for a moment. And then bend again, we're finding our warrior back, hand to the back thigh, turn the front palm up, let's reach. Find that side bend, triple side bends today. So helpful with our breathing. Let's come back to our warrior, let's straighten the front leg, remember you can always put your arms down. And bend the front knee, we're gonna reach. And back, hand to back thigh, front palm reaching. Feel the side bend, feel the breath. And slowly back. And we can rest here. One more round to go. Bending the front knee, reaching, reaching. Come back, hand to back, thighs. We reach the front arm up. Maybe we straighten the front leg this time. A few extra breaths here. Whether that's bent or straight. And then slowly back and release. Okay. Feet are parallel again, soft. Finding our breath here. And feeling it all slow down, maybe hands come to the belly. Soft, deep in breath. Soft or slower out breath. All right, we can heel toe, heel toe our feet in. We are going to come to seated with our legs in front of us. Take your time getting there, however, you need to get down onto the floor. We've done a lot of standing poses today, and now we're going to slow everything down. So you'll notice I'm taking my feet wide. I'm resting into my hands. Okay. Feet are probably on the edges of the mat. And I'm beginning to rock both knees to one side and then to the other. Nice and soft here. Pressing into those hands any way we can. We could be on forearms here if we needed to. Turning sideways so you'll be able to see the twist a little more easily. So let's meet with our knees at center. As the knees fall to the right, I'm leaning into that right hand, sweeping that left hand off the mat and slowly reaching it behind. You can use the in-breath to reach a little further. And then slowly back. 
We haven't done a lot of twisting today, so this might feel kind of stretchy good. As the knees fall to the left, leaning into that left hand, sweeping the right arm off the mat, sweeping the right arm off to reach behind me. Deep belly breath here, reach a little further. And slowly back. Let's do this a couple more times in either direction. The knees are falling right. We're reaching around through the left arm. Imagining a spiral from the base of your crown, base of your spine, all the way to the crown of your head, I mean. Using that extra breath and slowly sweeping back. The knees falling to the other side. We're reaching through the right arm, probably. If you need to be on the top of a fist here, you could be. You know, weight bearing on the hands can be uncomfortable. We're not doing a lot of it today, but let's do this once more in either direction. It's such a lovely full body stretch, a fairly accessible twist. Imagine that rotation from the base of your spine to the crown of your head, so even turning with your head. And slowly back, we still have one more side to go. And if the knees are falling left, we're leaning into that left hand, slowly reaching around through the right, finding that rotation, that twist, that breath. Slowly, slowly back. Okay. So now we will be lying down and um, you'll probably be able to peek at me pretty easily from this reclined position. And of course, if you want an extra long final relaxation, you can ignore me now or skip ahead. We'll do a little bit more therapeutic movement to support us here in our journey, our yogic journey. So, once you're on your back, notice that you can keep your feet wide, just like they were before, knees bent. And you could rest your arms overhead, just wherever they want to land on the mat overhead. If they prefer to be out to the sides or down by your sides, please do. Just an opportunity, just a suggestion. We'll allow both knees to fall to one side. And then to the other. This might feel a little bit different. It might feel a little stretchier because we're not seated. It might feel extra stretchy if your arms are overhead. And I'm gonna add um, a little more suggestion for your stretch. So if both of your knees fall to the right, you can keep them there. You're gonna kind of squeeze your left buttock, let it sort of tip the left hip forward as you start to stretch your left knee away from your left fingertips. So we're not really going anywhere, but you're creating that sense of length as you squeeze the left butt up. For most of us, we're kind of stretching through the side body, through the armpit, through the front of that left thigh. We're going to feel a stretch. And then we're going to slowly release it. And the knees will naturally want to come back to center. And now as the knees fall to the left, we could stay there. That could be enough for a lot of us. Or we could start to squeeze the right buttock, sort of tip the right hip forward, start to stretch through the front of that right thigh. As we stretch our fingertips away, like you're reaching up overhead, reaching away from that right knee. I know the right knee can't go anywhere, but we're squeezing that right buttock, finding the stretch. And then slowly, slowly releasing it. And you can adjust the angle of your knees if they're getting uncomfortable here. We'll try that a few more times. So if the knees fall to the right, there's that squeeze of the left buttock, that hip tips forward. We squeeze the left side, stretch it, squeeze it, feel it. And then totally let it go. Knees come to center, then they fall to the left. We're going to squeeze that right butt cheek a little bit, squeeze it, rock it forward. We're stretching up through the right arm, stretching the right side of the body, squeezing through that buttock and hip, feeling the stretch, and letting it go. 
Can we do it once more on either side? Maybe knees falling to the right. I'm gonna squeeze that left butt cheek, stretch through the left side, feel it, squeeze it, and slowly release it. And knees fall to the left. One more stretch, one more side. So we're gonna squeeze the right butt cheek, sort of tip that right hip forward. We're squeezing and stretching the right arm along, finding that stretch. And slowly, slowly releasing it. Okay, so it might feel nice to lift the feet and hug the knees to the belly now and rock a bit from side to side. And then we could circle both knees together. And then change the direction of the circle. Now the knees can come back to center. We're gonna bring the left foot to the mat if it's comfortable there. The leg could be long as well. And we'll bring the right, um, we're gonna bring our hand towards that right knee and see if we could bring the leg towards straight and then bend it again. And now I'm gonna be kind of bossy about what we're gonna do with our foot. So we're gonna flex the foot. That means pulling the toes a little closer. There's that flexed foot position. And we'll straighten the leg, just as straight as it wants to be today. We're gonna to point the toe and then bend the knee. Once the knee is as bent as it's going to be, we flex the foot again, straighten the leg, point the toe, bend the knee. Let's do that three more times, flex and straighten. This is to help manage circulation in the lower legs and feet. We're pointing, we're bending. And especially if the calves feel tight, again, flex, straighten, this can be a lovely little exercise to do first thing in the morning or before bed, we're pointing, we're bending. So now we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna keep the toes pointed away from you as the knee is bent. We're gonna slowly straighten the leg. Now we're gonna flex, that's gonna feel a little stretchier. And we'll bend. Now let's point and straighten. Flex and bend. Now remember, if it's feeling a bit too intense here, you don't have to point or flex quite as bit. There's the point to straighten, and there's the flex to bend. We're gonna do two more. Point and straighten. Flex and bend. One more. Point. Straight, bend, flex. All right, let's lift both knees and we can rock a bit from side to side. And we need to do it all again on the other side. And this calf might have more or less to say about this activity and that's just fine, we are listening. So we'll bring the right foot down Hold on to the left knee and just bend and straighten once. Notice how that feels. And now we're going to flex the foot, so toes towards the shin, kind of. And we straighten. Remember, we don't need to straighten the leg the whole way, just as is comfortable. We're going to point the toe and bend. Flex, straight, point. Few more. Flex, straight, point, bend. Flex, straight, point, bend. Let's make it backwards. So now I'm pointing to straighten. 
Relaxing to bend. This is where you could close your eyes. Point, straighten, relax, bend. And point, straight, relax, bend. Let's do two more. Point, straight. Flex, bend, point, straight, flex, bend. Ah, and we can bring our feet to the mat. So we could take the feet wide. We could rock the knees again from side to side if that's become a comfortable movement for you. You could also hug your knees to the belly and rock from there if that's better. I wanted to return to a little bit of an arm movement we did earlier in the practice, but stand in. Let me see if I can get a little further from the wall while I do it. And hopefully you'll be able to see this and remember this uh, from earlier in the practice. So to keep the low back nice and quiet, we're gonna keep the feet wide, turn the toes in slightly and rest the knees or thighs together. And hopefully that will be comfortable in your low back um, without any tension. Now our arms are out down at our sides and we're going to sweep the arms out to the sides all the way overhead ish. We're going to press the palms together and then bring the palms down in front of the chest. Remember this? We're going to press them together. We'll interlace the fingers, press the palms up towards the ceiling and then reach the arms overhead again. Release the hands, sweep them out to the sides, back to your hips. Can remember this? Probably. We're gonna sweep the arms out to the sides again, reach them overhead, palms come together. Press them together as the hands come in front of the chest. Interlacing the fingers, press the palms to the ceiling, and then reach them over. Release as you sweep the arms out to the sides, back to your hips. Let's do that two more times. Sweep the arms out to your sides till they reach overhead. Press them together as they come to the chest. Interlace, press the arms in front and then overhead and sweep the arms back to your hips. Once more, reach the arms out to your sides. Overhead, palms press and sweep down in front of the chest. Press them together and then interlace the fingers and press the hands to the ceiling. Sweep the arms overhead and once more, they can come down to rest at your sides. So it is time for final relaxation. That might mean lying on your back with something under the knees. You could stay in that leg position with the knees pressed together and the toes turned in with the feet wide. You could place a blanket under your head. Whatever you need here to be comfortable. Yeah. So feel free to press pause if you need more comfort items. Otherwise, lie down. And for some of you, legs lying flat might be comfortable as well. We might feel like letting the legs roll away from each other a little bit, the feet roll out. We might turn the palms up or in and bring those arms away from the side body, shrugging the shoulder blades together or just as, as comfortable, maybe resting hands to the belly or the chest or even the ribs to help tune into the breath. Closing your eyes and continuing to adjust for your comfort.
can feel the support of the floor beneath you. That quality of stillness and connection that gravity brings. from this place of stillness and connection, begin to feel the movement of your breath. Feel that soft expansion of your abdomen or maybe your waist and low back with the in-breath. That inward, downward movement of abdomen and waist and low back with the out breath. Can we simply notice this without any need to control or change, but instead to invite the breath to land deep and soft, to allow that expansion and release. Inviting and allowing the soft, deep in breath, softer, slower out breath. Can we imagine being able to send this breath? to different parts of the body and to allow that part of the body to fill with awareness and then to soften and settle earthward. I'm just playing with your imagination here and with your body awareness, open to the possibility. Let's begin with our feet. Can we Send the next in-breath to land in our feet, filling our feet with awareness. Exhaling, letting our feet soften and settle earthward. We'll do that with the next few breaths. Filling both feet with the in-breath. With the out-breath, both feet softening and settling. A couple more breaths, just like that. Now let's do the same with our legs. Can we use the next in-breath to fill up our legs, fill our legs with awareness? The out-breath lets both legs get soft and settle, letting go of the legs. A few more breaths like that. That's the inhale. Fill your legs with awareness. And the out-breath, feel them soften and settle. Couple more breaths for the legs. Fill the legs, let them go. Now let's bring our awareness to our whole torso. It might be a little easier to imagine it here because we feel the breath inhabiting the torso, but let's invite that breath into the whole torso with the inhale. Fill your whole torso with awareness and breath. And then let your whole torso soften and settle onto the floor. A few more like that, inhale. Fill yourself up. Exhale, let go. Couple more.
Okay, now let's inhale and fill both arms and hands with awareness, with breath. The exhale invites both arms and hands to soften and settle. Filling up, letting go. Couple more. Now we'll fill our neck and head with the next in-breath. The out-breath, the head gets heavier, the face and neck softer. Filling up with the in-breath. Letting go with the out-breath. Soften the jaw, the forehead. Couple more. Noticing that ongoing awareness of your head and neck, of both arms and hands, your whole torso, both legs and feet. Feel this awareness throughout your whole body. With the next in-breath, feel your whole body filling with awareness. The next out-breath, your whole body softening and settling. Let's stay with this for the next minute or so. Each inhale, filling your whole body with awareness. Each out breath, softening and settling your whole body onto the floor. Letting go. Soft and deep in breath. Softer, slower out breath. Let's pay attention to the next five or six more breaths, making each exhale a little longer than the last.
As you complete those breaths, perhaps bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. Perhaps return to that sweetness you offered yourself at the beginning of our practice. That kind word, that prayer, that affirmation just for you. Releasing your hands, knowing that you can stay here reclined for as long as you choose. That when you're ready to move, perhaps a little wiggle of the fingers or toes, a stretch, a yawn, perhaps eventually rolling over to one side and then guiding yourself upright and being gentle with yourself as you move on into your day. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.